So keeping your engine cool is a challenge. If you've tuned your car, the engine is running a lot hotter and you may well start to have issues with the engine temperatures getting too high. And hot engines are not good. They cause all sorts of problems, all sorts of failures and puts extra stress on all of the components. So we're going to look at some of the common causes of high running temperatures in a car engine, particularly a tuned engine. And we're going to look at some of the ways you can fix this and address the problem so it's no longer an issue. And if you're planning on raising the power of your car, there's probably a few of these things that you should just think about doing as a matter of routine. Some of them are, are quite simple upgrades or quite simple changes that you can make that just ensure your engine is operating at much lower temperatures. <laughs> So engines burn fuel. There's a lot of heat going on in an internal combustion engine. That heat is eventually going to melt the metal. It really is that hot. So various cooling systems have been designed to make sure the engines don't overheat and melt those essential components. So some of the early engines were air cooled. They would have had vents on the side of the engine. A flow of air going through them would have kept the engine cool, but they weren't particularly efficient engines. They were quite clunky and agricultural in their operation. Things have moved on significantly. Most modern engines have actually got a circulating water system to keep it cool that goes through a radiator and it's a really good way of maintaining a regular temperature within the engine. In fact the flow can be controlled so it's going through the radiator when it's hot but if you want the engine to warm up more quickly the radiator can be effectively shut off from the system just to allow the water to circulate in the engine and for the engine to warm up then it goes around the radiator. So common problems with an engine engine overheating to look out for. So maybe the water pump has started to fail. It was quite a common issue on a lot of makes and models, particularly on European cars. They used plastic impellers in the water pumps and they would often fail after relatively low mileages, 70, 80, 90,000 miles, for example. And that would just prevent the circulation of water in the system. So you've got water in the system. The engine's probably not overheating, but it's certainly running hotter than you would like. So check the water pump and the water circulation and just make sure that you've not got an issue with the mechanical part of your coolant system. Another issue could just be excessive buildup in the engine bay. And I have seen people fit body kits that have got inadequate venting or they've not designed the vents in a correct way. And the flow of cold air going into the engine is just causing the engine to run slightly hotter. And it's just enough to push the thermal envelope beyond what the cooling system can cope. And then you get a runaway with the temperature just going up and up and up. It could also indicate you've got a problem with your engine. So if it's misfiring, or it's struggling to run efficiently. It might be running too hot. It might be a lot hotter than it needs to be. The, the lean running in the engine can also cause problems with the heat buildup. So you just need to be careful that the engine is working if effectively and efficiently. So if it's running hot, that could indicate an issue there. Obviously check the thermostat because if that's giving you wrong readings, that can do a lot to affect the running of the engine. Maybe the thermostat is just stopping the water from circulating around the radiator as it should do because it's not detecting it's hot enough. So get your thermostat checked as well and just make sure that that's operating effectively. Got a little favor to ask, can you just drop us a like and please in the comments, let us know what car you've got, what your plans are for it, what mods you've got what your experiences are. It really helps us to get out there. We're a very small channel, so we really appreciate the feedback from our viewers. So we'll assume now that you've got your car running in good condition, that those common mechanical problems and mechanical mods have been sorted out. You've obviously looked at your radiator, the little fins on the radiator that actually aid the cooling. You've got the pipes and then you've got fins that connect to the pipes. And as the air runs through, the heat goes up the fins and disperses into the air that's coming into the front of the car. So if those fins are missing, it's going to dramatically alter the efficiency of the engine. Um, I had a, a Rover 220 quite a few years ago and when I took the radiator out it had holes in it, significant holes in it. It looked worse than Swiss cheese would and it was unsurprising that I had some cooling issues with that. So just getting a better radiator or a new radiator can address those problems. But what can you do if you've tuned your car? The coolant system is running as effectively as possible, but you're still getting those higher temperatures. Well, you can upgrade the radiator. So the design of the radiator, the size of it, the way the fins are arrayed, the way the coolant flows around the radiator can all have a fairly big bearing on its ability to cool the engine and making sure there's a good flow of cold air going into it. So checking the vents on the engine bay, maybe putting some vents on the top of the bonnet to aid airflow. Um, beefing up the fan that's on the back of the radiator can actually help to 
to cool the car and keep the engine temperatures down. So as far as the actual radiator and coolant system goes, that's probably as far as you can take it upgrading the radiator. You can probably change the water pump a little bit as well and have a more efficient water pump. A lot of um, tuners have actually gone for electric water pumps because rather than just operating at the speed the engine is working at, an electric water pump can be adjusted to cope with the heat in the engine. So it can run more slowly when the engine is cool and it can effectively be overdriven when the engine is hot and just make sure that that coolant is circulating around. But you could still reach the limit of your radiator and your coolant system. So what else can you do? Well, oil coolers are a good suggestion. So the oil actually plays a significant part in keeping the engine cool. And it's the oil temperature that gives you an indicator as to whether the engine is up to temperature or not rather than the coolant. So just running the oil through an oil cooler can actually significantly drop the engine temperatures. It was a common trick that people used to do when they were towing or when an engine was working under very, very heavy load. But it's certainly something that performance car tuners are considering doing and do to their cars just to make sure that the oil is running as cool as it possibly can in your hot performance engine. You obviously don't want the engine oil to be operating at a lower temperature than it was designed to because it's going to be ineffective at flowing around the engine. Um, but a properly designed oil cooling system can make significant drops to the temperature of your engine. So there's various additives as well that you can add. So the additives effectively raise the boiling point of the coolant. And the higher that boiling point is, the more effective your coolant is at taking the heat away from the engine and just keeping everything within operating parameters. You certainly don't want that coolant boiling because you'll just have steam shooting out the front of the car, you'll be losing coolant and you'll have all manner of problems. So at around 8 PSI, a coolant additive in the coolant can actually increase the boiling point of the water that you've got in the coolant to about 120 degrees Celsius, which is significant. There's lots of other additives and chemicals that are added to coolant to just make sure the car runs cooler. I was chatting with a guy at a car show recently, he had a really old Jaguar and that was having problems running hot. And the only change he made was changing the coolant additive. And by just changing the additive, he was able to keep his car within its normal operating temperature. So he really swears by it. So do your research. There's a lot of additives out there that are really good, but there's also a lot of bad ones, a lot of cheap ones that you really need to avoid. So think carefully about the coolant that you're adding. And hopefully with these tips, you can keep your performance engine running cool and you'll avoid a lot of the problems that can crop up in the long term where your engine has just been running hot for too long. Thanks for watching. Please drop us a like. If you boot that like button, it really helps us to get out there. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Again, that's a recommendation for us to the YouTube algorithm and helps us to get out there. And let us know in the comments if you've had any problems with overheating. Um, maybe there's something we can help you with. So drop your questions as well in the comments and I will do my best to research and find practical solutions to your overheating problem. Don't forget to stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video.